hey guys welcome to my channel and if you're new you're welcome and thank you so much for tuning to my channel so today's tutorial is going to be on how i do my foundation and highlight routine now in this video you're going to notice that i don't do cream contour i'm just going to do my normal powder contour and each and every one of us has have our own unique way of doing our own foundation and highlight routine i hope you enjoyed this video and please thumbs up if you like it and let's jump right into my highlight and routine foundation my foundation and highlight routine guys oh my god <laughs> I'm going to prime my face and for this I'm going to be using my NYC oh my god I don't even know how this is done <laughs> your color smooth skin perfecting primer for this for this video so I'm just going to take a bit and just you know primer is a go-to you know you have to prime your face I have an oily skin so you have to prime your face normally i'll use my milk of magnesia but i'm not going to be using that you know i'm not going to be using that today but i just want you to know that priming is very very important <music> basically what i do is i know i usually press the primer into my skin so for foundation, I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Polish Foundation in the shade Coconut. Found I love this foundation a lot because it little goes a long way. So what I basically do is I just use my finger and just distribute it all around my face because I don't want it to be too much. I usually go with my beauty blender and for this I'm using my real thing beauty blender for this and usually what I do is I just press everything into my skin beauty blender is really good to apply foundation because it helps to push it into the skin and it it blends so well as well there's a difference you can see the difference when you apply your foundation with a foundation brush and also when you do that with the beauty blender so especially when i'm hearing you know maybe i'm going to church or somewhere i usually start with my uh, foundation brush you know to even distribute it very fast before i go in with my beauty blender and just push everything into the skin so after i'm done blending i'm going to light my face and for this i'll be using the early girl pro conceal in fun Highlighting is very very essential guys. You know when you see those stars, Jennifer Nagy, Rita Dominic, you see how glowy they look guys. Notice keenly when they take pictures, you know there's, there's this particular portion in their face where it, it, it really is really glowing, you know. So what I've noticed is this area here, the under eye area, the nose, their forehead and their chin guys is so gorgeous. So what they usually do is they use the highlighter to highlight those areas where light will usually hit your face, you know, to look glamorous. So that's exactly what I'll be doing right now. So to do this, you need to go for two to three shades lighter than your skin, than your foundation, you know, to have that obvious highlighted look. I'll be highlighting my under eye area, my chin. Cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, and my forehead. So, using my damp beauty blender, the same blender I used to blend the foundation, I'm just going to use that as well to blend everything, all the highlighted areas. Here. Makeup is also 
all about blending don't forget that if you don't blend well you won't have a perfect taste and right? so the makeup will be a disaster moving now to on um, the under eye area where i start from here moving inwards <laughs> foundation brush and just you know blend everything out guys <music> right, so the next thing you want to do is to set all the highlighted areas for this i'll be using my ben Nye banana powder i don't big guys i don't like you when my face is too kicky so i just apply that and you know dose everything out I'm going to use this clean puffy brush just to dust all the excess. <laughs> from Jordana USA Compact Cake Powder in Chocolate. Contouring is like adding some definition to your face, you know, those highlighted areas that like you highlighted and it just gives you some, you know, some demarcation on your face. <music> and do my eyebrows eyebrows off camera and i will be right back hey guys so i'm back i just went ahead and did some my eyeshadows some eyeshadows you know to complement the look so now i'm going to apply some mascara <laughs> finish up the look i'm going to apply some blush and i'll be using the black opal blusher <music> going to apply some lip gloss and I'm just going to spray my face to set everything up with the setting spray actually so guys this is a finished look I hope you enjoyed every step of the way how I do my foundation and highlight routine I hope you learned one or two techniques, you know. So guys, it's optional if you want to bake when you're setting your 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 highlighted area for you to bake. But I don't bake, I don't like baking, I don't like when my face is too cakey. So I just set everything out and I do my contour and I apply my face powder and every other thing sets in place. So guys, 
i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a huge thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel help this channel to grow and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs> Who else feel built on the beach? <laughs> and Blanche on the youth? Oh Lord have mercy. Multi-draw like a crock. <laughs>